welcome to End of English News Bulletin. I am Bhavana Kesi. In the beginning, we have the headlines. Election Commission submits parliamentary election report to the president paves the way for the new government formation. Normal life in the western Tharai districts affected since past few days with a sudden deep in temperature, thick fog affecting people's mobility. At least eight killed after a landslide hit a camping site in Malaysia, Selangor State, dozens more missing. And Toro's outstate ex-president Castillo to face 18 months dis detention. Welcome back. You are with NTV English News Bulletin. Now we have the news in details. So the, the submission of the report of the results of the November 20 election to the president by the election commission has paved the way for the government formation. As there is no clear majority of any party, Intis homework is ongoing to force coalition and alliance for the government formation. If a party doesn't have a single majority, according to Article 76 of Article 2, the president shall appoint an House of Representative member as the prime minister, given he or she submits a basis for obtaining a majority with the support of two or more parties representing in the House. The, the Prime Minister appointed in this way must take a vote of confidence from the House within 30 days of his appointment. In the case the Prime Minister fails to get the confidence vote, according to Article 76.3, confidence from the House within 30 days. If the Prime Minister cannot be selected uh, through both the processes, then a non-party government will be formed According to Article 76, sub Article 5, since the parties in the coalition did not gate the majority, the coalition has started the homework to gate the majority with the support of other small parties or independent MPs. On the other hand, CBNU ML is also continuing its initiative to form a government under its leadership. Excessively cold weather in the past few days has affected daily life in Tarai districts. Dense fog occurred from early morning Thursday has made the weather severely cold with to with little to no sunshine in the area since Wednesday. Continuous cold wind and frost have excavated the cold weather, forcing the children, senior citizens and the chronic patients to stay indoors. The number of patients suffering from cold related ailments to have increased in several areas. The count of people suffering from asthma, cough and other diseases has drastically gone up. Meanwhile, the flights from Bakke's Nepalgans airport has been affected since the past, two, past few two days due to poor visibility. On to next update, police have nabbed hundreds of sacks of rice illegally entered Nepal from India, which was stored in various places of Birgans municipality, ward number 11, Rani Khat. Deputy Superintendent of Police Nirmal Buratak informed that more than 500 sacks of Indian rice were seized during raids in four warehouses. Police has raided based on prior information that the tax evading rice was being stored and distributed in various warehouses of Rani Khat. The rice with this update, a time to go for a short break, but it's still to come we have. Welcome back now to more updates and let's have the latest from the international front. A landslide on Friday at a tourist campground in Malaysia left two people dead and authorities say 51 people were feared 79 people were believed to have been at the campsite in Batankali in central Selangor state around 50 kilometers north of Kuala Lumpur when the incident occurred. Malaysia's fire and rescue department said in a statement that the campsite where people can pitch tents or rent them from the farm is popular among the locals. Three people were injured while rescuers were searching for the estimated 51 people missing while 23 other people have been rescued. A Peruvian judge ordered outstate ex-president Pedro Castillo on Thursday to remain in custody for 18 months, approving a request from authorities for a time to build a rebellion case against him. The judge's decision came a day after the government declared a political state, a po uh, after the government declared a police state as it struggles to calm violent protests. The protest impeachment vote. The ruling came days after Congress stripped Castillo of the privilege that keeps Peru's residents from facing criminal charges. 
EU President Ursula von der Leyen and EU Council President Charles Michel held a press conference after the latest EU summit. Michel said that an extra 18 billion euros had been allocated to support Ukraine in 2023. The European Union says it has approved a new package of sanctions aimed at ramping up pressure against Russia for its war in Ukraine. Meanwhile, two people have been killed, according to Ukrainian officials, in a second day of Russian attacks on central Kherson, recaptured by Ukraine last month. Heavy selling on critical infrastructure in the port area left the entire city without power, according to the regional governor. With this update, a time to go for a short break again, but still. To Welcome back now to more updates. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un watched a test of high-thrust solid fuel motor and expressed the expectation that another new type of strategic weapon would be made in the shortest span of time, state media reported early Friday. The test took place on Thursday, according to Korean Central News Agency, which often reports important news the day after it happens. Still, images released by KCN showed Kim is smiling and holding a cigarette while standing on a Van Tau's point overlooking the motor with China. So high means West Sea in Korean. International media were shown around in 2012 before one launch which failed. London's Kew Gardens is celebrating Christmas in a style. More than a million lights are illuminating the UNESCO World Heritage Site as it welcomes hundreds of visitors. It is, the it is the centerpiece of Christmas, which is returning to gardens for its 10th anniversary. The show is even bigger this season with 44 mountains and flames. More than a million lights are illuminating the 2.7-kilometer trail through Kew's Gardens with environmental concerns for this sensitive and highly biodiverse garden it is committed to making the so its greenest to date. All the lights on the visitor trail have been switched to LED for their lower power consumption. Christmas at Q runs until 8th January. To that, let's have the highlights first. Now to sports. Azid Al Razi, Qatar based Australian Martin Chalmers, and Hetham Al Chuzaidi earned early leads in the car, motorcycle, and quad categories at the Valley Jeddah after the opening 10 km super stays on Thursday. The fourth and final round of Saudi the fourth and final round of the Saudi Toyota Rally Championship is being organized by the Saudi Automobile and Motorcycle Federation in conjunction with the Ministry of Sport and four courts were permitted to start the three event and the Al Razi continued his excellent run of form with co-driver Dirk to beat a series rival Mirso Slap by 30, 33 seconds in the car classification. Gamblers and experts say many punters see Africa's growing sports betting industry as a source of regular income and a possible path out of poverty. But critics warn its rise is underpinned by widespread poverty, unemployment and poor or non-existent regulation. Continent-wise data on sports betting is not readily available, though snapshots from different countries so it's growing popularity. Online gaming platforms have enjoyed recent growth driven by widening adoption of mobile payments and pandemic era dim World Cup has been the major draw. Today online sports betting make up 45 percent of the South African gambling market, a starkly different picture to just 10 years ago when casinos held 80 percent of the market share according to the National Gambling Board. With this update, we come to the end of this English News Bulletin. But before we say goodbye, let's have a quick reminder of the major stories. Election Commission submits parliamentary election report to the president, paves the way for the new government formation. Normal life in Western Tarai districts affected since past few days with sudden deep in temperature, thick fog affecting people's mobility. At least eight killed after the landslide hit a camping site in Malaysia. 
and Peru's ousted ex-president Castillo to remain in custody for 18 months as demonstrations continue. Government imposes curfew in at least 15 communities. That's all we have in this edition of English News Bulletin. We shall see you again with next round of English Bulletin at 6 in the evening. Till then, have a great time ahead and stay tuned with us. Namaste.